Good morning guys. So I'm just gonna take you guys through my low carb, low fat, high protein, uh, protein waffles today. And I hope you guys enjoy it because these are delicious. Okay, let's go. So what you'll need is some protein powder. I prefer this Argonne vanilla protein powder uh, with pea and rice protein for my waffles. I just find it makes the best, most fluffy waffles, but it's totally up to you. The one thing with this that you won't get in way is that you will have uh, some carbs in your protein powder. If you use whey, you might have one to two grams of carbs, but it also might be more dense. So just keep that in mind. This does have 13 grams of carbs per serving with 25 grams of protein. So that is something to keep in mind when you are making your low uh, carb, low fat and high protein waffles. And then also you'll need either egg or you can substitute uh, it out for egg whites. Um, you'll need baking powder. I just use this stuff. And then also some almond coconut blend. You can use any milk really. I just, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is what I use. And you also need a waffle iron and some coconut oil spray to keep it nice and low fat for ya. All right, let's get going. So first, you're just gonna want to spray a little bit on your waffle iron to get it nice and toasty. So we keep it warmed up while we're making the batter. So all you'll need, so for one waffle, I just take two scoops of this Arbonne protein powder, like so, and put it into my bowl. And then, take about one teaspoon of this baking powder and I just kind of fluff it over to well disperse it. This is going to make it nice and fluffy and adds zero nutritional value to it. And then your egg whites. I am going to try, usually I use one egg but to keep it lower fat because with one egg you usually have around seven grams of fat. Um, to keep it lower fat, we'll use egg whites today. So I'm gonna use about half a cup of egg whites. Usually one egg is a third of a cup, but I think just because it's egg whites, it doesn't have the yolk to keep it nice and sticky, we're gonna use half a cup. Then we're gonna whisk that all together, kind of test out what our batter consistency is gonna be like. Um, the only reason I add the coconut milk is to make it more batter-like, so this is starting to get a little gooey. So we will add some batter, or some coconut milk to make it more soft and pancake-like. Into the, and eat the batter because the batter's so good. Here. I put about a third to a quarter of a cup in there just to make it nice and gooey. Like so. Nice batter consistency. All right, so we're gonna put this onto our waffle iron and then we are done. Pretty, pretty simple. Perfect waffles, oh my god. This recipe makes two pancake, or two waffles. <clears throat> they are tinier, so I mean, you could add more if you wanted. And also having the egg, a whole egg does make a difference. But like, look how fluffy and delicious those look. So yummy, and the vanilla is perfect 
by itself. You really don't need anything. My favorite thing to add to these is some of the feel good, milk free, gluten free chocolate chips and as well as some nut and seed butter or even sometimes I take some uh, frozen fruit and then melt that in the microwave and have like a nice little dipping sauce. It's super, super tasty. So I hope you guys enjoyed that guys. I'm gonna go snack on this. But that is my quick and simple protein waffle recipe that's very low carb, low fat, actually pretty much zero fat, I think a few grams maybe and like high, high protein. I'll put all the macros on the side to, yeah, on the side here. So if you guys enjoyed that, give this video a thumbs up and I hope you come back and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Okay, bye guys, love you. Mwah.